Have you ever been browsing online on your iPhone or your iPad and come across an MP3 or a WAV file and thought, I'd really like to download this file to my iPhone or my iPad, but you've been sorely disappointed when you can play it, but you can't download it. Well, in this video, I'm gonna show you a way that you can download an MP3 or a WAV file directly to your iPhone or your iPad. So let's go. Hi, my name is Pete. This is Studio Live Today, where I like to help folks create, record, and release their best music. And if, like me, you're a mobile music creator, meaning you use your iPad or your iPhone for music creation, there are times where you're browsing and perhaps you're on a free sample site or a free loop site, and you want to download one of those loops or samples to your iPhone or your iPad to use in a music project. Well, in Google Chrome, in Safari, you can't do that. However, there is an alternate browser called the E. EDI browser, which I'm going to show you in this video. It is very simple to download and set up, and then you can download MP3 and WAV files straight to your iPhone or your iPad. So let's jump in and take a look now. So to get started, you're going to need to download the EDL browser. So we're going to come into the search of our app store and type in EDL and hit search. And the first option here, EDL Lite, is the option that we want. So I've already got it here, so I can just hit open. But if you haven't, just hit the get button, wait for it to download, and then open up the app and we'll be ready to go. Here we are, our app is downloaded. We're going to now tap on this. It's called eDownloader there on your screen, and this is going to open up the app. Now it is an ad supported app. So you are going to see some pop-ups. You are going to see some video ads. That's just to support the creator. You can pay a little extra to turn off the ads if you find this a useful app and you want to use it a lot more. So the first thing we're going to do is we can use this just like a web browser. So I'm going to go up to my search bar here and I'm going to type in freesound.org, which is my favorite free loop and sample site. We're going to hit go. Now, while this is loading, a quick word of warning, make sure that if you are downloading MP3s and WAV files that they're from legitimate sites and that if you are going to use them in your music project, that they have licensing, so Creative Commons licensing or a license that allows you to use them and that you can use them in a commercial project. If you're using them for your own use, then it's not so much of a big deal. But if you're creating music, then you do need to be careful that if you're using a loop or a sample, that it is one that you can use. All right, that word of warning out of the way, let's jump in and have some fun. So I'm going to go to the search box. Now there's a cool sound that I found here, which was called the Warrior Break. So I'm going to search for this one and tap on go. You can't see what I'm typing there, but it is there just because I'm in landscape mode here. And here it is. So Warrior Break 01.wav. Now, if we're happy we want to download this, we just tap on the actual link here to the .wav file, and the same applies for a .mp3 file, the exact same process. And here we are in our Warrior Break 01.wav file. Now, if we scroll down here, I've got a download button here. If you don't see that, you do need an account. It's a free account for free sound. So if you're following along in this example, just sign up for an account, log in, and then if you go to this exact page, you'll be able to tap on the download button, and then here we go. So as opposed to just playing it as it would in Chrome or in Safari, we now have the option to download it. So we can hit download and it will download the file with the current file name, or I can actually top download as, and here we go. We can now change the name of the file. So we can enter a new name. So if I just wanted to call this, uh, say, drum break, and put the .wav at the end and then hit OK. It's now going to download. You can see down the bottom here, if we tap this other tab here, that it is downloading. So it's transferring this file and you can see the progress there. And as I said, this works for any WAV file or MP3 file with a direct download link. It is a little bit slow because it's downloading it from this free server, but in just a few moments, that'll be complete. And then I'll show you how we can save this out to a location on our phone. Okay, our bar is now green 100%, which means we're downloaded. So now the little three lines over here to the right are how we can actually transfer this to our iPhone or our iPad. So I'm gonna tap on that button like so, and now I can actually open in. So if we tap on open in, and now I get my options, I can save it directly to Dropbox down the bottom there, or I can tap on save to files, which is what I'm gonna do. This will open up the files app, and now I can put it to anywhere that's compatible with files. So I've got my iCloud drive on my iPhone, Google Drive, Dropbox, anything that you have already synced up here on iOS 11 or iOS 12. So let's go to my iCloud Drive. 
I'm gonna to go to my music folder and I'm gonna tap add. So this is now saved to my iCloud drive, which means I can now use it with any other app here in iOS. So let's close out of here now and go into my files app and I'll show you where it has saved this file. Here we are in the files app. So here's all my locations down the left hand side here. So I'm in iCloud drive. And as you saw, we saved it in this music folder. We go into music, we'll scroll down. And yes, here is drum break. If you wanna take a listen, we just tap on that one and hit play. We can now use, we can copy this to any other location on our iPhone or iPad. We can share it, we can integrate it, we can drag it into apps. So that is all very cool and that is all there is to it. So that is how with the EDL browser we can download an MP3 away file or any other file type. If you can browse to it and download it, you can now save it to your iPhone or your iPad. And there you go. Yes, you do have to download a separate app. Yes, you do have to watch some ads, but you know what they say, there's no such thing as a free download. Now, if you thought that was pretty cool and you'd like to see how that can be applied in a GarageBand project where I can bring in some of these sounds that I've downloaded, then check out the link up there right now. If you tap that one, you'll go straight to another video where I show you how that is done. Thanks again for watching. If you've got comments, questions, or suggestions, you can leave those down below and I'll see you on the next video. Hey, thanks again for sticking around. There are two videos linked right down below there that you can check out. You can also subscribe to the channel if you haven't already by clicking on the Studio Live Today icon in the top right corner, or you can head on over to studiolivetoday.com for even more audio goodness.